catch myself. H2SO4. Okay, yeah, what actually happens is this will go to a single bond to a proton. That will go to a single bond to an oxygen for H2SO4. So the way you get four oxygens is two are double bound, two are single bound with the hydrogen on it. So OH, OH. So see, it gets really tricky when you talk about these bigger molecules. And if I could spare the balloons, I'd put two more green ones, and then I'd put the hydrogens out on the end of the greens. And that's what makes it an acid. So this will work perfect because we're hanging on there. There's the sulfur with the oxygens on it, right? This is a corner of either H, HSO3 or H2SO4. Sulfur, you see the oxygens? Here's what's called the acidic proton. Okay, it's on the oxygen, not on the sulfur. Anybody that draws a Lewis structure with the proton, the hydrogen, being on a sulfur, you're going to lose every time. The proton does never bound. When you're drawing your HClO, four, seven, 14 electrons around it, right? Seven bond ring. The proton is always on the O. This is acid-base chemistry here, okay? Alcohol group, OH, when it's bound to, a, say, a carbon or something, okay? This is a whole different story because we're talking stable gas molecules. Covalent bonds, this is ionization in water when the proton takes off like that. So, that was our sulfur. How did, what do these do? The SO, SO2, what to do? It goes up in the air. Those were anti-bonding orbitals. See, they didn't fit. There we go, I'll show my old jaws there, right? So what do we got here? H2, no H, the, the H's aren't here. Where are my H's? Here's my H's. This is H2SO4, people. Put these sideways because we're out in 3D space. Sulfur in the middle, right, Stuffy Professor? Oh, this is child's play. Well, what do we got here? S with four O's, two are double bound, because you can see the double Velcro's in there. These two being single would get one hydrogen, the other hydrogen. So let's see if I can hold these right. Actually, this would be like way out there. So this is sulfuric acid. It's actually be more like this. Protons would be on opposite ends of the whole molecule. So see, if this is floating in the classroom, this is great. You totally fill the sulfur, totally fill one or two of the green ones. The other ones you blow up and you tie on there. Make sure the ones that you don't tie aren't full with the helium. But this is sulfuric acid. So what makes it an acid? The proton. It's got one proton. It's got two protons to give. Now what you end up with is a doubly negative. This is a SO4 minus 2. 2 minus anion. The negatives are on the oxygens. Because two of these are going to be singly bound. See, I'm conserving Velcro here. If I had the Velcro and the balloons, I'd put one here, one over here, with one Velcro strip. See, these are the double bonds, right? See the two? Yeah, yeah. It's got two. We put one. One for H. See, the, this is why we cannot use this for this discussion of protons, because the electron needs to stay on the oxygen. So we're talking covalent bonds, which means the electrons are always with the element here. So what's our next one coming up? Nitrogen. We've got our SO. We'll save carbon for last. Okay, I'm back. 
I'm trying to get the computer to show these nitrogen molecules because this does get complicated. It's kind of beyond me at times. Nitrogen is blue. So what do we know about nitrogen? Let's go back to our shapes. Remember the periodic table of shapes? Now it comes in handy because CNs and Os, N was a triangle. So here's our triangle. We're going to draw it like the alien here. Where's my thing? My Nordstrom sport coat here. I hope you people appreciate this. Here's the best way. Nitrogen. Okay, first in the atmosphere, the triple bond. If we draw this with the triangle shape, we see that N2, triple bond, electron pair on each side still. That's what N2 looks like. 78.9% of what? No, it could be that much. 78% of the air you breathe is N2, okay? Triple bond. One of the strongest bonds in nature, they call it. Long pair of electrons out there. This is what N2 looks like to a chemist, okay? Draw the triple bonds. Are we all on camera? Yeah. I love the three-dimensional thing on this. But the way we're going to learn this here, when in the lightning hits it, is one of the ways that this triple bond is broken. So when you got nitrogen and oxygen, they use these words freely, but we should, to be precise, it's dinitrogen 2, oxygen gas. If you say that, you know as a gas it's going to be O2. If you say N2 gas, G, we'll know that it's atmospheric vapor. <laughs> it's a gas, okay? Triple bond, lone pair of electrons. Lone pair of electrons on the nitrogen. This is where we made him into the little alien, remember? Little sneaky guy hiding there. There's three bonds on a nitrogen. So the traditional one that we do, we'll just put stick two of these on here now. A little bond in this thing. Let's see, we'll have to get one more. This won't matter. I gotta conserve these. <laughs> Low budget chemistry. We've got all our molecules flying around here, right? We've got our S's. We've got our O's. We've got our O2's. Okay, we're in a reaction vessel here just by being on Earth, breathing air. It's another oxygen. What I want to show are the nitrogens. Here is a nitrogen with. A hydrogen, where's my other hydrogen? The hydrogen, the gases, they're all floating away. Another hydrogen. One more on here would be ammonia. We don't have the, uh, the hydrogen <laughs> to spare, so this is too bad. So NH3 is a great ah, molecule to do when you got a budget and you can afford the balloons. But what are we doing here? We're I need an assistant, don't I? Oh, boy. Yeah, we're tired. This is the Sea Star Memorial Lecture here. Sea Star died this morning. We're not going to get into the politics of that. Santa Maria. Devil's Playroom. So, we got a nitrogen. Put those too far apart. They're not going to do it. Nitrogen double bound to an oxygen. Okay. We look at our thing here. We got a lone pair of electrons. We know oxygen being the circle, so there's one, two bonds to oxygen. There's still another bond out there. What are we going to do with that? Well, it's going to get. And oxygen. And what this is known as NO
in 02, 